mechanical engineers, we have a lot of knowledge and skills to solve practical problems. We can design aircraft engines, solve complex air conditioning problems, make race cars take corners faster, and work out a complex gearing system. More and more, however, engineers are moving into other, less traditional areas and using these problem-solving skills in new fields. In the medical field, there are many areas where engineers can work with medical professionals to help them come up with better solutions to save and improve lives. For example, engineers and medical professionals have collaborated to produce sleep apnea masks, cardiovascular stents, prosthetic limbs, artificial hearts and bionic ears, to name just a few technologies. Sometimes, it can be tricky working out how to go about these cross-disciplinary projects. Sometimes, it can seem like engineers and doctors are speaking different languages. As we don't know enough about each other's areas, we aren't able to articulate exactly how we can help or what exactly the engineering context of the problem is. Doctors aren't familiar with what we have available, so don't know what problems we can help them with. In this course, you will learn how to form engineering solutions from medical problems and how to communicate effectively so you can discover what these problems might be. You will learn some basics of human anatomy and learn medical terminology so you can speak the language of the people you will be working with. You will learn which parts of your engineering knowledge are most relevant to medicine and you will learn some extra knowledge too to help you solve particular physiological problems. This course will be closely aligned with current work that UNSW researchers are conducting and you will be making a contribution to a project that is ongoing with the Prince of Wales Hospital. Throughout the course, we will give you opportunities to learn more, read more and find out more so that you can build an even better bridge. This course is not being run in the traditional mode where you turn up to a lecture and then go away and do some examples because you're not a traditional student. In this course, you will be given different pathways to learn the information you need and be able to undertake a lot of this learning when it's convenient for you. Each week will start with a lecture where we will introduce the content for that week and give you an overview of what you will be learning. We'll also explain any laboratory work you might be needing to complete that week or tell you about a quiz coming up and the work you should revise. There will be a set of information and activities for you to complete every week, which will be on our course website. Each week, you will also have a tutorial where you work in small groups on problems designed to help you understand all the information you have read online. It's important, therefore, that you go through everything for that week before you come to the tutorial or you won't get the most out of it. There will also be a weekly laboratory, which might be in a computer lab or in a mechanical engineering lab. You'll have to check each week so you know where to go, and there will be some work you need to do before you turn up. The main assessment for this course is a series of assignments related to a major project, as well as quizzes and a final exam. Your major project will make use of real patient data and you will gain real information that will be used in an ongoing research project. In this course, you will not only learn about the bridge that connects engineering to medicine, but you will contribute to some ongoing research that is a result of a collaboration between our engineering group and surgeons at the local hospital. Some of this work will be individual, and some will be in a small team. There is a lot to learn in this course, 
but it's structured so that you can make sure you are understanding the critical parts we need you to know. It's important to complete the work each week though. This isn't a course set up for you to cram in the final week. If you have any questions, you will be able to contact us through various means that will explain to you via the course information. You will also have one of our fabulous PhD students assigned to you as a tutor, and they will be able to help you as well. We hope you enjoy this course and learning about the amazing places that engineering can take you.